Welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make oyakodon. Oya means parent, ko means uh, children, and uh, don is a uh, rice ball. It is a quick and easy dish that you can easily make under 30 minutes. The major ingredients for this dish is the chicken, and you wanted to make sure that you use the chicken thigh instead of the chicken breast. The fattiness of the chicken thigh will definitely make um, the meat a lot juicier and softer compared to the breast. You will um, saute this uh, thigh, chicken thigh and slice um, yellow onion and uh, seasoned sauce and then finish with um, a runny scrambled egg. Then you pour this whole uh, cooked mixture on top of a bowl of rice. So let's get started. Here is the ingredients overview and what you will need for one serving of oyakodon. With the soy sauce and sugar, you can put more or less depending on your preferred taste. For saltier, add more soy sauce, and for sweetness, add more sugar. First, lightly beat one medium egg. Make sure to not beat too much as you still want the egg white and center to be a little bit separated. Next, add the sauces to a non-stick pan to make the flavor of oyakodon. Put quarter cup of dashi, half tablespoon of sugar, half tablespoon of cooking sake, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and half tablespoon of mirin. Turn on the heat to medium heat and mix together. Heat for just a moment, then add quarter slice of yellow onion into the pan. Allow it to simmer for about a minute to soak in the flavors and stir occasionally. After a minute has passed, add one diced chicken thigh and stir. Turn down the heat to simmer and cover for about two minutes. After one minute has passed, stir the chicken once again to ensure it all gets cooked and cover again for the remaining minute. You do not want to overcook the chicken in this recipe as it will end up tasting tough. So check the chicken frequently to make sure you catch it just when it's fully cooked. Once two minutes has passed, Gather all the ingredients toward the center of the pan, then pour the beaten egg into it. Swirl it around as you pour, then allow it to simmer. Put in the sliced green onions and cover for about a minute. Once one minute has passed, you're all done! Prepare a bowl of steamed rice, then place the oyako on top of the rice to complete one serving of oyakodon. So now the oyakodon is made. It's always nice to accompany it with some uh, Japanese pickle vegetables such as takuan and tsukemono. Miso soup is always nice to have, so this completes a nice and nutritious healthy meal. I hope you enjoy watching me show you how to make uh, oyakodon today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and happy eating!